It's a sacrifice we make because we love them so much. I think it's a really harsh cut to relatives who provide PCA services to their family members. My name is Dina Belisle. I'm a personal care attendant for my son Anthony in Lakeland, Minnesota. I'm Mike Goody. I'm the communications manager for the ARC Minnesota. We advocate for people who have intellectual and developmental disabilities in their families. Okay, a PCA, a PCA, is, um, personal care attendant or assistant, um, helps them with every daily living skill of need. Mm -hmm. Grooming, bathing, eating, toileting. Mm -hmm. Just we, literally we, like we basically one. do everything that they need to have done just mm -hmm. to function during the day. Mm -hmm. And I just want him to be happy and healthy. And I think mm -hmm. parents providing, parents or siblings or grandparents, mm -hmm. uh, providing PCA services for their loved ones know mm -hmm. them best. Mm -hmm. They know them best. They don't want them in resident homes. They mm -hmm. don't want them in nursing homes. They don't want them anywhere else. They want them here. Mm -hmm. That's where and where they belong is right in the community, connected with family. Right. And and like you said, you, you know their needs best. I mean, you're you're not, you're not talking about just his ability to communicate, but I would imagine just you have to have that consistent presence, and the family member is, is best you know the best person to do that. Oftentimes, I mean, sometimes the only person to do that. There is nobody right. in Greater Minnesota, in many towns in Greater Minnesota, there's nobody else there that can be there for that family member because they're because of uh, distance because of uh, the low wages that you know they uh, need to find something else that's going to pay them better you know, just a whole host of reasons so they're, they're the only option family members are the only option so um, what is the new change that just occurred with the PCA hmm. well change is, is a very nice way of putting it I think it's a really harsh cut to relatives who provide PCA services to their family members. 20% cut in the wages, and that was something that legislators felt we needed to do to balance the budget. But providing a cut in the wages to people who are providing this is very, very important support, very important care to people. What are we going to, I mean, is there ever going to be a solution? Um, are we going to just keep getting cut more next year? I, pretty soon we're going to all be living out in the streets. We're going to be draining the other resources out there, rent assistance, heat assistance, food stamps. Uh, what is, the, is there going to be a solution? Well, I think we definitely need to, to reverse this cut. I mean, that's an obvious uh, first step. Uh, the, you know, the $24 million that will supposedly be saved uh, it will probably not be saved, for one thing. We can find other ways to get that $24 million. We can have a fair tax policy in the state. We also obviously need to look at the way we spend money. This PCA program is very cost effective. We should not be cutting programs that provide support to people in the community that, that keep them in their homes, that get the best value of our taxpayer, for our taxpayer dollars and create the best lives.